Hello and welcome to Classic Car Cave. Another bit of clickbait, the E-Type again. There's the, the race mini. Still got a spanner this up and uh, we're gonna test it out maybe in a couple of weeks time. So anyway, it is part three of the uh, the thingy majig, the algae separator come water separator. So um, I will put the guy's name, but I can't remember it offhand. Uh, a, a guy wrote a comment to me, made a very good point about not. I was actually going to put these drains in here, as you can see them. I was actually going to put those in the bottom, and he said if you put them halfway up, any sediment will drop down, which is a good idea. So that's what we've done. So you can see there's the pipe along the bottom and it's got clamps holding it. Um, <clears throat> when I bought it, I bought it with these end caps so you can take the end cap out if you want and clean through, although it's only a matter of unbolting it three bolts. And then there's the T-piece and the step down and then that will go back into the pool. So at the moment, uh, we've set it up and it's just set up on 12 volts. Obviously it'll be powered from the mains because the motor on the centrifugal pump is on the mains uh, but the lowest speed you can get on these is 12 volt or would be 12 volt so i'll show you when, when it's working but uh, yeah that tub is seven kilos and this one's five five or six kilos uh yeah so that's basically how it works we've made these covers um eventually what'll happen is there's going to be another stanchion here to hold this and this is where the hose will go on. So you'll have the suction coming onto the pump and then the discharge going in here, onto here. We'll put a swivel on here so you can put the hose into this one or into this one. And what we're hoping for is a box, get a box made up by a local electrician with switches for both sides and a rheostat so we can change the speed if we want to or the voltage which will make them turn either quicker or slower. Right now one is turning to the left and one is turning to the right but it makes no odds. As long as they turn slow enough, that's good enough. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and then what we're gonna do is try it out on the batteries um, because it's Sunday tomorrow. Uh, and Monday we can go to the electrician and do any little issues that look like they're gonna be a bit of a problem, but that's basically how it's gonna work. And in the next bit of video, you'll see it on the mini trailer, the way it's gonna be set up. And we'll give it a go and, and see it works, just on the batteries. Uh, until we get the electric sorted out, but I'll show you it working. So basically, um, as I said, it's set up on, on 12 volts because that's a minimum. So if I put this on, hang on, it's kind of hard to hold this end. Let's see if I can get this, grab this from it. Oh, that's all the, always the way in it. So you can see that's it, that's it turning. And then this one, this has got a clip, so you can see that's turning the opposite direction. It's a little bit quick, that one. It doesn't matter. And that, and that should work. So I'll say, we'll set it up tomorrow uh, and see how it goes and any little issues we can fix up. Um, yeah, as I said, with the real stack, we should be able to we should be able to play with the we should be able to play with a different uh, uh, voltage and get them to turn at a certain speed. It doesn't really matter what they turn at. I think what we will end up doing is is make, getting some uh, splash guards guillotined because I can get them nice and square and the right depth for here, and then put some uh, splash guards over them so they'd just be like a uh, you know like an, uh, a round thing over the top with two little edges where you just screw them into the side and that'll stop any water being thrown out onto people when you stood next to it here the other good thing is I've made this the right height it doesn't look it for the trailer so when it goes on the trailer it's these drums are at waist height so they're they're kind of more like this about here somewhere a hand height so they're easy to pick the um, algae out and dump it into the back of the, tr the uh, dump trailer so I'll show you when it's tomorrow when we get the little trailer up and set it up okay, so we've got it set up on the back of the tractor but when it's working properly the tractor will have the green tipper here where that basket is now we just wanted to check and look how much sediment there is in the bottom of there 
Okay, so we found two problems with it to make it perfect is the, the putting the drainage halfway up or above halfway there's not enough volume for the amount of water that's coming through so we're going to have to put them lower but we're going to put mesh over them and then we'll interconnect the two of them with a piece of that blue hose so that if one fills up too much it equalizes across the other one we've got this one out at the moment as you can see but you can see how much sediment is in the bottom of that Look, you can see all the crap Look. and we only had it on for a few seconds and you can see already but their holes are too big there's a few bugs and things in there as well a bit of larvae there running around uh, but it works so this is the centrifugal pump I was talking about it's got this header tank on it so what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you if I can I'll have to uh, can I do it if I can I can maybe put this hose in here it might go all over the place I don't know so you've got a switch here on your pump hang on fills up too quickly. So you can see it fills up too quickly, so that's two issues we need to resolve. And obviously the electrics of it to work on the electric uh, power rather than the batteries. But apart from that, it seems to do the job. So that's how it'll sit on this little mini trailer. And you can see the water coming out the other end, but you see they're still shitty. So we're going to try and resolve that issue on Monday. I mean, it's just trying this bit of gauze bandage just to see how much it collects. If you can keep it onto the, just onto the uh, gauze, I'll turn it on. Ready? Yep. Just see how much that collects. Just topping up too quick. Oh yeah. No, no, it's down. It's, but it's. Oh, it's come off, yeah. yeah. But it, oh, you can see it's got, it was catching it. Yeah, look. Like that. Yeah, you can look. Look at that. You can see there. You can see, yeah. You can see where it was catching. Sound yeah, look. Big reed. That's perfect. So we'll get that on Monday. That's it. Try first trial over. Oh, there we go. We're going to take it back up and modify these bins, get the mesh, and then get the electric sorted out for these motors. But I'm surprised that with the uh, RPM, the revolutions, that doesn't the water doesn't fly out. We thought we we're going to have to put shields over that. So what we we'll do now is we'll uh, get it all sorted out, strip it down, paint the frame, weld it properly, paint the frame. He's just going to park it here so all this water runs off the back. But we use this little bandage here, this little bit of gauze. It came off, but you can see how much shit that went and stayed in it. So it'll work. We'll use a plastic... Uh, perfect. We'll use a, a plastic uh, uh, membrane. And the nice thing is you can take these caps off here. And the amount of sediment that was in these as well was... Get it on my hands are cold. There you go. So you can take them out. So you can see the sediment in there already. It's only a little bit. There was a load in it when we opened it. So that's nice. We can clean that out as well. There we go. So. Yeah, yeah no problem. So we'll get all this welding sorted out and cleaned up and get it painted. It doesn't rust. It may or may not know, it depends how long you've been on the channel. This is uh, all hand laid, this. Uh, we use stone and compacted it. And then put these uh, things in it that my wife wanted the grass to grow through. Which is a pain. So this is the little dump truck we were talking about. This is what we'll throw the, uh, the weed in. You can see, see that little lever down there? You can lift that and the whole thing tips backwards. 